Oh, oh there she is, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, she's got it. No, she got it. That's a bass. Oh! What's going on, guys? Well, today, uh, we just checked the weather forecast. Yeah, 35 miles an hour out of the south today. So, yeah. today is the day we're going to do a video. And uh, we've got some crazy weather coming in. Also, what's crazy is we have Rob here. That's right. Lunkers TV just drove like 20, I don't know, from Dallas. He left Dallas yesterday and got here last night. So, I'm going to let you guys hang out with me and Rob today. And, uh, anyways, that's it. 35 mile an hour, baby. Let's see what we can catch. Well, so Rob's here. Rob's here. He just drove in. So, I got a phone call last night at about midnight. He says, uh, hey, we got a problem. I'm like, what's that? He goes, well, did a little damage to my boat. I, I'm gonna say I didn't do the damage. Yeah. I don't wanna talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> I think we're gonna fix it somehow. So, he's gotta use the boat for like a week and that's not gonna be repairable. So we're thinking about just trying to keep the water out. Gorilla tape, or just get a bunch of 5200 and yeah, squirt it up in 52, there. Yeah, 52, you can do that too. Yeah. This is perfect when we're fixing boat. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go on the lake today, guys. It's uh, 30 mile hour winds out of the south. I'm not real sure what we're gonna catch. Dude, I found two giants, bro, yesterday. If we could see them, we might be able to catch them. Pretty cool. I'm we're here. Okay. She's blowing a little bit today. Just a little bit. But like, like, there's a bed right there. Well, that's a tilapia bed, but you can see it. Yep. But that's where the, the bass are spawning in there too. So I think the way we're gonna have to catch them today is casting swim baits and hopefully they'll come up and bust. If not, we're just gonna get in an area where, we're, where there's like, up here there's like a bed there, a bed. I mean, they're everywhere. And we're just gonna pitch in these holes in the grass. Cast though that line that I just threw right there. See that black hole I'm coming up to right now? Right, right there, that black hole that's, oh, there's. Oh, jeez, falling backwards, <laughs> falling backwards. Is that a mudfish? No. <laughs> oh, I was like, is that a dang mudfish? There we go. The swimmer, dude. Saucy swimmer, little 4.8 inch right there. First fish of the trip. 21 hour, no, 26 hour drive. 26 hour drive, hole in the boat, first yeah. bass. There we go, thank you so much. I like it. We're on the, we're on the road to 11 pounder though. And there's right. a big hole I so can see. See, see the dark yeah. hole? It's like right. Yeah, that's the, where the there. big one was. It was rotating between that one and the holes behind it. Yeah. No. Swimmer! <laughs> <laughs> so check this out. This is what we just did. This is pretty cool. We always, um, here on Okeechobee, we, we. Pretty nice fat bass here. Okay. So here on Okeechobee, we run weedless swim baits all the time on these weedless swim bait hooks. The wind is so crazy that we wanted to get it down just a little bit deeper in the water, keep it down. Now, obviously I could find a hook that had a little bit more weight, but I don't have one. So I just put a standard bullet weight on them. And here's why I like that bullet weight on the nose. Cause when I want to kill it in a hole, it's going to swim down at a 45 like this down, doof, they get it. Try that next time. You want to get your bait down just a little bit, a little bit deeper. That's an eighth ounce tungsten, rig that up, whammo. I'm not kidding, I've been throwing the speed worms like a lot lately. And the amount of bites that we're getting on this, just a little bit we've thrown it, mm -hmm. pretty impressive, dude. By putting that weight on there, it gets it down just a little bit. I think it's right there. I think she's right in there. Oh, oh there she is, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. She's got it, dude. Oh, no, that's the male. Oh, it's a male. I was trying to actually give her, do a joke for you. Uh, <laughs> that would work. She's on the right side of it. I can see her. Can you see her? Yeah, she's on the very right side. Well, the goal was not to catch the male, but sometimes you catch him and the female will bite. Let's stick her in the box. Let's stick him in the box. Yeah. yeah. There she yep, is. Yep, 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 yep. Keep an eye on her a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it's a mudfish. She... No, no, that's a bass. Oh, she's got it. No, she got it. 
That's a bass. Oh, God. God. Damn. Son of a gun. First flip, dude, when we found her. God. God. Darn it. Dude, so far we've made three flips with a bandito bug. Yeah. Two bites. Three bites. You have like one chance with big fish to like get that thing done. Dude, what she was like, we're talking. Oh, there she is. She's right on the bed now. Yeah, 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 yeah. She moved on to the bed. She moved on to the bed. Hello? I don't know if you get a lot of you guys bed fish at home. Bring I'm sure right a lot of you guys do because you guys watch Scott's channel. You're on yeah. Scott's channel Bring watching this right now. Right now. That bed's like over here, and, for, and yeah, I noticed I that know, there was a fish way over here. Else, he instantly flipped to her, she uh, turned and she sorry, smoked sorry. it. Sorry. That really sorry. doesn't ever happen, having a fish eat it off the bed like she did. Oh, oh, she's tilting on it, dude. Is she? Yes, big time, big time. She's at the base of the, the grass staring at it right now. Oh, she's all over it. She's got it. Yep. Yeah. There we go. There you go. She's big, dude. She's big, bro. Yeah! Oh! There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Bigger than six. Yeah, she is. She got them some googly eyes. Some googly. Some googly, googly eyes. Googly. That's how we do it, boys. That. Good job. Good job. Pretty awesome, my friend. Look. Oh, uh, yes. Couldn't stand it. She couldn't stand it. That's a beautiful, beautiful bass right there. February, have shorts on and flip-flops. Everywhere else is frozen. Lake Okeechobee is doing really good. There's a lot of big fish on the lake this year. Grass is looking beautiful. We got a lot of eelgrass. The water's staying clean and clear, so awesome. Awesome stuff. Okay. That was cool. That was awesome. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Why don't you get the little dude out real quick? Here you go, buddy. All right, so, you know, the wind's hard. It's hard to see him. I found that fish yesterday. I was on the lake fishing and I found that fish. So, you know, it may be hard for us to find some more, but I think if we go real slow through this grass and pitch in these holes with a bandito bug, that fish bit basically the first time I got it in the bed. And so I think the cycle that these fish are in, I think we have we stand a good chance of catching several more big ones today, just pitching around in the holes. You know, you didn't have to really work that fish that long. She was ready to go. Tell my phone rings, I catch one. All right. You must be just running right over the top of something. Yeah. So again, guys, we put that little bullet weight on the front. We're gonna catch a big one on this thing, dude. I'm telling you. All right, so this is the Saucy Swimmer. It's a swim bait we've been working on for quite a while. Comes in three sizes in this one here. This is the bigger one. A couple years ago, I caught probably 70% of my fish that whole year on a bait similar to this. Got our special little ribs on it. It's got the, the sauce on it. You know what else I like about these baits? They're durable. Yeah. That's, like, that's probably a good thing, huh? Yeah, it's a real good thing. Especially in this grass. Real good thing. So I've got it rigged on straight braid, too. And uh, when you're fishing here in Florida, the biggest tip I can give you is to fish straight braid. Especially especially on the Kuchip. You really don't need to fish fluorocarbon. I hadn't fished straight fluorocarbon in years on this lake. It's just, you know, if you're other places in the state, you might need to go to fluorocarbon, like flipping pads and stuff. But when you're on this thick grass like this, straight braid, 100%, and you're just going to land way more fish. You, don't, you do not have to throw fluorocarbon. All right, we're gonna head back in. Tiki bar, I need, scrimps. Yes, scrimps. I got, what are those things called? The little, uh, uh, uh bang, bang up shrimp. Bang up shrimp. If you guys have never been down here to the Royal Mountain Marina, you guys need to. They have these little shrimp things. I get them every time. I yeah, get like two orders of them. I don't know why I just did that, because I, I felt good. <laughs> yeah, scrimps. Ah, I told him this is gonna be a banger series, kind of like that pole. Yeah. Oh, here, hey, watch out, there's a pole. Yeah. <laughs> watch out. Actually, that this pole. is the kind of pole that you that That's exactly <laughs> where the boat was sitting, right there, right? Yeah. Uh, so more, when you turn the corner, it just slid right up on top. It was like this. Yeah. Yeah, just like <laughs> All 
right, come with me, guys. Let's go show them where you're going to be in 2028. Come with me. So y'all want to know where Rob's going to be 2025? Right here. The famous Blue Wall. World famous Lake of Chevy. Fishing guides. Yeah, it's going to be me right there. My spot's already open. It is. I'll be the guy that's out there just doing We had another guy there, and I said, dude, you got to go. No, it's, 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 it's reserved for me. I'll be here. Just uh, You guys can book me. Be at uh, Little Martin Greeno, you know, just hanging out with Scott. Yeah. That's pretty much it. It's my life. Sorry, no shiners, though. No, no shiners, shiners, no shiners. So, guys, it's uh, pretty busy in here, pretty loud. But we're going to have some good food. And if you come to Cluiston, come to Lake Huge, I mean, just go ahead and play this out there. You got to come here to our facility because you not only catch a lot of fish, you can have a good time doing it. All right. You like shrimp? Okay. You want any shrimp? They're fresh. Real fresh. And real hot. Yeah. Real hot. All right. Those are the scrimps that we've been talking about. Today was an awesome day on the water. We're going to go do it again tomorrow. We've got a whole new video coming your way. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thank you for hanging out, Rob. Awesome. Good stuff, guys. We will see you later. Bye, y'all.